We're getting an update on the effort to bring casinos to the Commonwealth. The movement just took a big step forward. Yeah, the state lottery board has given its seal of approval in casino gaming regulations and Ann Sprock was joining us live this morning. So Ann, what happens with those regulations now? Well, Dan, Ashley, the proposed permanent regulations are now getting ready to go on Governor Northam's desk for official approval. Now, if the governor approves, there will be a 60 day public comment period leading up to the final approval by the lottery board. Currently, there are four proposed land based casinos in Virginia. It's here in Norfolk and Portsmouth. Bristol as well as Danville. The Virginia General Assembly assigned regulatory oversight of expanded gaming in the Commonwealth to the Virginia Lottery back in 2020. Expanded gaming is comprised of both land based casinos as well as those mobile sports wagering. Lottery board members also received an update on the mo mobile sports wagering as well. There are 10 approved permit holders to provide sports betting in the Commonwealth with seven currently accepting those wagers. Now these regulations of course build upon the initial emergency regulations that were approved by the lottery board back in February. Hampton Roads is now one step closer to that approval process for these major projects to begin. Live in Portsmouth, I'm Ann Sparocco for 13 News Now. Okay, and thanks. So let's take a look at the casino proposals already in the works. Right here in Hampton Roads, you have Headwaters Resort and Casino in Norfolk. The Pamunkey Indian Tribe announced the name for the casino they plan to bring to downtown Norfolk in May. And officials expect the first phase of that project to be wrapped up by 2023. Meanwhile, Rush Street Gaming has approved the Portsmouth uh, City from Portsmouth City Council to start their work on the Rivers Casino. That'll be sometime this year. It's targeting a 2022 or early 2023 opening date.